Hi, welcome to Bobbins and Bows of Bear YouTube tutorial for moss stitch. So I've got a sample of moss stitch here for you. And it's it's a lovely material to feel. I really enjoy doing moss stitch. You use it for things like hats, um, accessories, it's really nice. Jumpers, you'll often get it in, in Aran jumpers. Um, yep, so I've got Amazon Chunky, Super Chunky, sorry, and 10mm needles and um, I've cast on 12 stitches so we start with a knit stitch so it's knit and purl across the row so it's knit, bring yarn to the front purl to the back Front for the knit. This is often referred to as seed stitch if you are reading an American pattern. In fact, some English patterns say seed stitch now, but it, over here it's usually moss stitch. I've ended on a pearl. Now if you were doing a rib pattern, if you ended on a pearl you'd start on a knit. But we've ended on a pearl so we turn. So we'll pearl over that now. So you can see that the, the bobbles of the pearl stitches and these sort of little V's and the knit stitches. So you'll pearl over that knit. and then you'll knit over the pearl. It's great to get to know what this looks like and then you always know where you're going to be next. So knit back to the front for your pearl and then the front for the knit. So that's your bobble. You knit over that one. That's a V. You can pearl over that one. And you continue like that to the end of the row. You've finished on a knit row, a knit stitch. Sorry. Um, so you can see it coming together now. Once you've got a couple of rows down, you'll really see it. So we ended on a knit. So we've got the bubble there. We knit over that one. It's a bubble, so we get over that one. That's a knit, so a pearl over that. It's a nice warm uh, pattern. This, if you ever have a jumper knit in this, it's really warm. It does use up quite a lot of wool. So if you knit a jumper in this, it will like, take more wool than it would if it was just stocking stitch. There we are. Let's have a look. Let's see it coming together. So you can see the bobbles are up there. And the V's kind of get a bit curled one way or the other but there's your V, there's your bobbles. So that one would be a pearl to begin with. If you have an uneven number of stitches, then you'll start on the same stitch each time. I 
I'll leave um, the pattern in the description to help you. I'll do it over 12 stitches. I'll do I'll do a 12 stitch and 11 stitch, and you can see what it would look like. There you go, that's moss stitch. I hope that's helpful. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe.